taxi driving can be a good job, quite, quite rewarding at times, but every now and again the price can be way too high. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Wednesday, hope you're all doing okay and your days are going swimmingly. Well, I'm at Heathrow today, I've come up here to pick up a customer for another firm that I do some work with every now and again as they couldn't get one of their drivers in, I said I'd go and do it, so all good, it's all Muller. Well, I'm going to show you what the inside of Terminal 2 is actually looks like when I go in there so uh, you'll see some real live footage of the arrival section so you know exactly what's going on and not the bullshit in the news bear in mind I'm recording this about well five o'clock in the afternoon so you'll see right now what's happening There you go, you see. That's my job. Go up to the airport, grab somebody and get the hell out of there. And it usually involves something like a 200 mile round trip. That's my business. But to some people, it's their livelihood. It's their bread and butter. And no more so than the hackney drivers and, you know, the black cabs, the black London cabs that have to come up here and sit down for hours on end waiting in turn to drive in and pick up a passenger to take somewhere. My heart goes out to them, it really does. With the effect that things have had on the airline industry, it's a hell of a job. And some of them have to sit up here on hours and on end and literally live in their cabs. I mean, I've had times where I've come up to the airport and had a kip in my car in between jobs and gone away again, but these guys, have to literally sit in line for hours on end and pay for the privilege as well. And by the way, Heathrow, thanks for putting the price up on them, so I'm told. And they'd be lucky if they get a job, but they've got to do it because they've got families to support. Well, it caught up with one particular taxi driver, didn't it? Richard Harris, 56 years old, found dead in a sleeping bag in the back of his cab. You know what he was doing? Queuing up for work. You see, it's a queuing system. You've got to keep your place in the queue, otherwise you lose it, you don't get work. And he was doing what any other cab driver would do. There isn't many that haven't slept in their car at some point. And uh, yes, he, he was found dead. They say in the news reports that at the particular time he was found, there wasn't you know, the number of cabs around that there normally is, so it might have taken a little bit longer to locate him than it would do normally. The most tragic thing about this story, he was a father and he, he had two children and he was doing what I do, what any other cab driver would do, go out there for their family, and do what it takes to earn a living, to put food on the table. That's what makes it all the more tragic. I understand that a GoFundMe type thing has been set up to try and raise money for his funeral. And uh, so far that, that has managed to raise double the amount that it was uh, supposed to. And uh, not, not a good situation at all. Cab drivers are, 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 you know, are one sector that have been sadly left in the cold with all of this. We've been told get universal credit and everything else, but it doesn't pay for the running costs of your taxi. And if you're an operator with bills to pay, you're in the same situation as well. In this case, it's ended in tragedy. My heart goes out to the family and my condolences as well. All the best. This is the Gabby Cabby signing off. Toodaloo.